So some of the things we're going to discuss in here, we're going to talk about uh, gallons per minute, and we're going to talk about the flow rate, or feet per second. Um, we'll refer to that as the scouring velocity in a little bit. That's going to be critical, especially when we get into uh, sewage pumps. We want to maintain what they call scouring velocity in that pipe. Um, if we don't maintain scouring velocity, basically what's going to happen is solids are going to start settling out in that piping system. And if the solids start settling out, then we're going to end up with a buildup, which I think we have a slide of. Maybe it's another slide or two. So anyway, for a sewage application, um, we have typically always said two feet per second is kind of the minimum scouring velocity that we want to hit uh, to make sure the pipe stays clear. Uh, the maximum velocity, when you start getting 5 to 10 feet per second, now we start getting into the range. 10 feet per second is where it starts getting to be damaging to the pipe and to the fittings. Um, you know, the faster you're flowing that water through the pipe, if you can imagine, just like the Grand Canyon, you're going to start getting erosion. So if we start flowing it really fast, we're going to start wearing away at the pipe. We're going to start wearing away at the fittings. We're going to damage things. So we don't want to get too much. So. Minimum in uh, two inch pipe is 21 gallons per minute. And like I said, that's two feet per second. Um, in today's times, um, we even go a little higher than that. Sometimes we'll go 2.5 or three feet per second just because we have uh, low flush toilets. We have less water in the same amount of solids typically. So we're getting lesser and lesser water as we, we were trying to be more uh, or conserve more water. Um, we have low flow shower heads and, you know, all the, every device in your home is getting that way. So um, we're starting to increase our, our scouring velocity just because we have less water to move that same amount of solids through the line. But again, we don't want to get too much. Here we we're talking about the scouring velocity. If we don't maintain scouring velocity, this is an example of what can happen. Um, we have an example up there of uh, basically, it's an artery, is what it is. Uh, but you get the same kind of buildup, like you can imagine, like plaque in your, in your arteries. Same thing can happen in a piping system. So with the piping system, if we're not maintaining scouring velocity, uh, this same sort of thing obviously can happen. So what happens is over time, that pipe becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually it plugs up to the point where you can no longer pump through it. So this is a, a real world example of that. 